What's going on YouTube family TNT Neon Prime here welcome back to the channel and we have another review this time it's on APC Toys Red Guardian their take on a uh, Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper and I got to say he looking good looking real good so let's go ahead and look at the box get him out of the way so we have here on the box, we have uh, APC, we have Red Guardian up here, protection, protection Red Guardian. Got a cliff jumper on the front, got RC right here in the rear. If you didn't know, if you haven't watched uh, Transformer Prime, they're pretty much friends and everything. We got on the side here, nice box out on the back, on the top, on the bottom. And everything and we do have not suitable for children under three years old contains small parts careful careful of dangerous of careful or dangerous of swallow swallowing by children and not warning but warn all right so enough with the box then let's get into the figure himself don't mind the emblem this is a emblem that I put on him so he do not come with the emblem you can also get him at shows store as a pre-order he he's up for pre-order right now and then as you if you kindly if you kindly could once you go to shows store and you get ready to purchase this item or any other items please uh please support put tnt01 that's tnt01 and to support your favorite reviewer uh, box and you know that'll help me out with the channel so once again like I said he's on pre-order right now for a deposit of a dollar and he's going for $37.99 and that's at showzstore.com alright so once again like I said we have this magnificent cliff jumper in front of us uh, uh, Red Guardian APC take on a uh, uh, Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper. All right, so let's go ahead and go into the detailing. The detailing in his face looking really good. I think they really captured that detailing really good. Um, the eyes and everything are good. They are light piping, so I don't know if you can see if I cover that up so you can see the light piping on it looking real good his horns are good um not much paint on him the chest is a translucent plastic so that is painted we have silver on the background where i have put his emblem at um that is painted also our face is painted uh we have painted silver here on the shoulders here this is a molded plastic. is a very nice looking plastic. Um, also here on the side, we have also here a, on his belt area, silver, nice silver paint here on the belt area. Um, I like how they capture the headlights to be up up front. So they pretty much capture the talk cartoon look of this guy. So there we have paint on his little toesies. Everything else is like a molded uh, red plastic. All right, some of the features that he's have in his hands, he do have a way to, he don't come with weapons, but his weapons are already built into him for as, you know, as far as Transformer uh, Prime setup. So all I got to do is take his arm and open it up like I did and it reveals the cannon. So he do have cannons on both sides. So we open that up and fold his hands in. And so we have cannons on both sides of him. So that has, you know, give it the cartoon aesthetic look of Mr. Cliff Jumper. Let's get him back in his correct posing. So you can see how that is. And the guns are nicely painted silver, so they looking look really, really good on him. All right. Speaking of accessories, 
So what he come with is, I can't remember the guy's names, so forgive me. I want to say his name is Jack. And um, I can't remember the rest of the name. But he come with Jack. I uh, come with the little girl. Sassy little girl. She's very sassy. And it come with Bumblebee friend right here also. So we have Bumblebee friend, Buck, Buckhead friend, and we have RC friend. Um, it's crazy. I can't remember the rest of their names. And also they come with some dark energon which are done up really really nice looking really good and they are two uh you trying to go for the dark inner john you can't go for the dark inner john just yet buddy uh megatron has stab you with it. so they are carved a little different and one is taller than the other so yeah very unique very unique all right broom move these guys off to the side Let's go ahead and get into articulation for him. Head is on a ball joint. My guy is really loose. Uh, also, he don't want like to stay tabbed in to here to the backside. So uh, he gonna be in robot form anyway on the shift. So head can move up and down, and you see it's real really loose. Can look left and right. Right and left, uh, shoulders can come up to about there. Also, they are rotated. They are on a ball joint. Have a bicep swivel. Also, can fold his arms all the way up with more than 90. With that, um, has a waist rotation, but it's manipulated by the transformation. So if you find a way you can manipulate that to get a little waist rotation, which probably just backing off the headlights and doing the chest and you can get like a, a waist rotation, can get a high kick up, can get a spread out. Also, my legs are real loose on this copy, but it's okay. Um, got a knee bend uh, to that high, can also have a awkward knee bend could go up a little bit uh toe is on a ball joint so you can tilt down and tilt out but no tilt in and toe up and toe down so we have that established on his uh articulation if he want to stand up all right so yes that'll do it for the articulation and up next is uh, height comparisons. All right, for some height comparisons, first up is going to be RC. You see how that is. Then we're going to have Mr. Book Bookhead. Like I said, all these are APCs so far. <clears throat> Straighten his arms up. Have Mr. Book here so y'all can see how that works out. Then we're gonna bring in Mr. Skyquake, except he's not APC, he is Legends Evolutions. Legends Evolutions, so y'all can see how that size up. Looking pretty good, <clears throat> and here he is with. Optimus Prime, which I knocked him over. So, go with Optimus Prime and all that. And I think that works quite well. Uh, Skyquake was a little taller than um, Optimus Prime. So I think that nailed it pretty good. So that's all of them together looking really really good he kind of funky looking um <laughs> cliff junk kind of funky looking but he he look like he proportioned out pretty well but yep there go my prime lineup so far all right oh let me bring 
the guys in. Let's bring little guys in right here. So y'all can see how they scale with the guys in robot form. And there you go. So y'all can see how that is in robot form with the humans. All right, it's time for a little bit of transformation. I transformed this guy one time, so don't be too rough on me if I mistransform him a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what we're going to do is pull the panel back, bring the headlights back. out of the way for now bring all that up and bring it out so we're gonna have that sitting out to the side um, then we're gonna take his arms and rotate his arms up like so also we're gonna go ahead and flip that panel down in the front finish taking his arms like that bring them up to get ready to bring them in take his head down bring his arms down and there's a tab here they're going to tab into that little section right there and it's quite something to work that little section so you got to be careful with it when you, and you get ready to transform them so there you have it on that side same thing for the opposite side There you have it right there. So we're gonna leave them just like it is for right now and come back here to the front. So what we're gonna do is take the waist joint and rotate him and keep that just like that. All right, then from here, we're gonna go back and work on the arms. So what we're going to do is take his hands and open the panel back up, bring his hands out, fold that back in, same thing with this side, got some big hands by the way to be such a little bot. Alright, then what we're going to do is take this area here and bring it in like that. But take it in like this. I forgot. <laughs> like I said, I did it one time. So take that in, bring it in like that. Rotate it. If I can get it to do right. Rotate it like so. Then bring it here to like that. Same thing with the other side open up the panel bring it here rotate it once you want to do it in that little angle or uh accordion like deal just like that then rotate it not rotate it just keep it yeah just bring it like that accordion deal and then fold it in like so all right then from there what you would like to do is just hold it there and bring them pretty much level come back bring the top panels down as we're going to start tabbing these guys in so tab them in like that then bring this panel down line up they're probably going to come on tab but don't worry about if it do line this panel up to get everything according to deal because these tabs here they got to go down in that bumper so bring these guys up and tab that part in and then work it up like so so that can be lined up as you can see all right same thing with the other side bring the panels down 
You got to bring it in that bumper. Line it up. And there. Then bring the whole car together on the rear end. And we have the rear end done. Alright, then from there. What we're going to do is bring this panel, the door panel, down. We're going to bring it down just like that. And lock it into place like that. Then we're going to take the foot, bring the foot over and under. Yeah, his thighs fell off. He, he fell off the ball point, which they are loose. Like I said, they are real loose. <clears throat> And there we have that panel done. Same thing with this panel. Bring it out, fold it down like so. Bring the toe out, then take the toe back in. Just like that. So we want, we want it looking like that. All right. <clears throat> then look on the inside here. We have his window pane, window panel. Bring the window panel out there and bring the window pane out here just like so make sure they up just like that so now we're looking like that then from there what you want to do is rotate this panel rotate leg down hold it because your ball joints might come loose <laughs> bring this panel you want to bring it up like that then what you want to do is take it don't rotate it because it's going to be funny rotate it keep it like this then rotate this panel down here if it don't keep jumping out the ball joint this is the only part that pisses me off so then you have that going on right there you can go ahead and start bringing these in they slots here so your door panel is going to slide into there i wouldn't tap it in just yet just 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 be patient with it take this part right here and go ahead and fold it all the way down all right so we're going to do the same thing to the other side my ball joints they fall off so little so i need to fix them bring it here then rotate it back then do the same thing here and line it up so to be ready to compress in all right from here what you want to do is which i should have did this earlier but you want to bring flip these panels down flip this panel down As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's keep them out of the way for now. I knew I was going to miss a step. So, bring that out. So, right there, you want to take this panel, bring this down so your headlights and stuff will look like that. Then what you want to do is take this panel here and flip it out. Which I should have did that step earlier. Like when I first bring the panel, when I first brought it back. And you want to do that. Same thing. His little lid just keep falling off. Same thing with here. Bring that panel, as you can see, right there. Bring that panel, just like that. Which I should have done that earlier. All right, so let's get his lid back on. Yeah, the friction tolerance ain't high on this. So let's bring this back and put it back here. Friction tolerance is not high on this guy. Bring it back, rotate it, 
and line the panel up with that gap there. Let's see how that is. Now what we're going to do is bring this forward. Take the tab, press it up on the fender here. And then you have a dot, a little point there. You can see that little point. Right there. We're going to have to tab into that hole right there. Alright, so go ahead and bring that together. Same here. Bring that together. And there we have Mr. Cliff Jumper in his alt mode. <clears throat> the guy's good. Only thing I have is the tolerance on his legs. Seem like something should be done there with that. I don't know if the mold about wore out, but I mean it's a new figure just coming out. The mold shouldn't be wore out. But other than that, the figure is good. Um, so there he go in his alt mode. Nice paint job. Got the nice front end chromed out. I want to say this is a charger. I think it's a charger. But looking looking really good. Uh, you mess with cliff jumper, you get the horns. So looking real good with that. Like I said, not much paint. Pretty much what we've seen on the robot. We do have a chrome detailing for the exhaust pipes. We have the chrome, the silver wheels here. On the front, we have uh, most of the robot mode on the bottom, which um, only thing really distinct is his head. And if you look at it some kind of way, you won't be able to know it, but he got his hands there. Um, nice paint here on the forearms. Paint right here on the rear. You can put a license plate. He do have his exhaust pipes there, which that can be painted also. All right, so that looks good right there. And we'll bring in the human guys so you can see how that scales up with the human guys. So, Cliff Jumper is about a little over four inches long. So, yeah, there you go for his alt mode. And then up next is for his uh, size comparisons with other APC products and legendary, Transformer Legendary Evolutions. All right, size comparisons. Here he is with APC's uh, Angel Engine RC. So you can see how that compares up. Here he is with APC's, I can't remember his name, for APC but bulkhead so y'all can see that for a good size comparison here he is with legacy transformer legacy evolution um, skyquake so y'all can see how that is and here he is with optimus prime a APC's Optimus Prime. I can't think of his name. I think Attack Commander. And here he is along with the trailer with APC's Attack Commander. If it quit rolling, Prime. So. There you go before you can see that size comparisons for that. And also we'll bring in the props that he come with. We have right here all the props that he come with. So you can see how they look together with him also. All right, and here he is with the whole group. I don't have Bumblebee, so I'm looking for a Bumblebee. It might have to be an original Bumblebee, 
because I don't think APC Toys created a Bumblebee yet. Maybe it's coming, but yeah. So here are the whole group together, and we'll just throw um, Skyquake in with the bunch. So uh, right here, maybe. You know what? Let's put them right here so y'all can see that for a quick lineup. Maybe right there. Yeah. Let's see it for a quick lineup. So my prime collection is uh, coming together quite goodly. Good. Um, I didn't have a chance to get these guys when they first came out. So I'm glad APC Toys did a reissue of these guys. Um, so except for this is Legacy, of course, uh, Transformers Legacy, Evolution. But these guys right here are all APCs and I'm glad they came out with the reissue for the Prime figures. Hoping they, hopefully they'll come out with a Ratchet and Wheeljack and also um, a Bumblebee. But there you go with that lineup. All right, let's start rating this guy. I'm gonna rate this guy from one to 10. I'm gonna give him a solid seven and a half on the reason because of the thighs. And I think the issue with the ball joint on the thighs is gonna be on my copy. I don't know if it'll be on anybody else's copy, but just on my copy. Um, other than that, I think I also picked this guy up for $37 at Show's Z store. Oh, by the way, remember, if you do get him from Show's Z store, remember in the box that says uh, support your favorite reviewer, can you please put in TNT01. That's the letter T, letter N, letter T, 01, and that box above, and it helped greatly support my channel, help me out with my channel. Um, go back to him. I think I should pick him up. He's a good buy. Um, the transformation ain't that complex on it's pretty decent. You probably have him transform like five to six minutes. Um, so not that bad. Not as much complex as uh, Bulkhead. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? APC Tools really did their thing when they did it with, with these guys right here. RC, Optimus, Bulkhead, and now Cliff Jumper. Um, Scott Quake, he's a legend. He's a Transformer legend. So he's Hasbro and everything. But they go, all of them go together. Score, scales real well. Scales real well. All right, I like to thank um, all the my uh, first beginners that started started out with me on this YouTube uh, journey. I like to thank y'all for watching. I like to thank my new subscribers for watching. I like to thank my recent subscribers for wa watching. I even like to thank the people who just going to come in and watch the channel and see what's about. I like to thank y'all for uh, just coming in uh, for this channel. Uh, and everything. I'm up to 500 so subscribers, and I thank y'all, thank y'all very, very much. Um, but if y'all could do one thing for me, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and it greatly help me out with the channel, keep the channel going, and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm um, go ahead and pick this guy up for Show Z Store. That's ShowZStore.com, and you know what I'm saying he's a good buy. And I, if y'all like this channel, if y'all like this uh, video, give, give a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, you can give a thumbs down. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, be easy on me. <laughs> be easy on me. All right. As I always say, God is good all the time. TNT Neon Prime out. Be blessed.